Hello friends, in this session today, we'll understand how to design reports. Let's do the basic report design activities. Straightforward concept. Let's observe carefully one by one. I assume we are very, very new to our reporting environment. Let's learn together. What is a report? Yes, here you go. A report is a graphical representation of given input data. In fact, it's any input data includes calculations, formatting, and other notations, other properties for end user data representations, dashboards. So every report in SSRS by default we call it paginated report. So these reports have extension RDL report definition language. It's an XML based representation and the entities in a report. There are three mandatory entities in a report. Three mandatory entities. Number one, we have data source defines connections to actual source of data required for reporting. Then we have data set, the query defined on above data source to design the report. Then we have report fields, columns from above query used for reporting. From whatever query you have in number two, those columns are taken into three. Then we have row groups to control data representation horizontally at row level. Then we practice column groups to control data representation vertically at column level. We have a header and foot, contents placed above and below every report page and parameters, conditions used to restrict reporting data. So whatever data we are reporting, we can have a specific condition, we can restrict by using parameters. Now how to install SQL Server? Data source, how to install the uh, SQL database or SQL Server source database for reports. All you do is, you launch SSMS. Any version of SSMS will do. And you would be receiving one .sql file along with the session notes. You simply launch SSMS and connect your database engine. Then go to file open and select the given SQL file. You execute, don't select any statements, directly execute, you get one product database. It is the same source database we use in our analysis services also. So here would be the source database. I'll just click on file and specify the required source database. So here we go. Please hold on for a few moments. Yes, this would be the source database. A .sql file would be included along with the session notes. So here it is. Simply execute. Then you get one database called practice database or product database. This one with a collection of four tables, type, products, customers, and sales. Four tables, let me just remove the remaining tables. Just for clarity, we have a total of four tables. Products, customer, and time are related to sales table. I repeat, products, customer, and time those are related to source, the actual sales table. 
with this information we know how to verify the database diagrams now against this database you would be given a query you need to execute the query and test it so first install the source database then right click database new query execute this sample query for our report design this query is going to join three tables sales data next something called products data and something else called time data to report year wise quarter wise month wise day wise product wise total sales so a join of three different tables copy the query and paste it in your ssms session make sure we verify the result like this old historical data you just verify the result some old data old historical data okay next once we get this information ready next step how to design a basic report from our earlier examples you install sql server data tools ssdt then go to windows apps and search ssdt launch the ssdt tool so here it is search type their ssdt like this launch visual studio the ssdt tool file new project and reporting services second template file new project reporting services second template this one file new project this one file new project reporting services for now second template say report server project template and we can define or we can specify some location i'll say report project into the location any location is fine click ok so what we do file new project reporting services select the required project click ok like this once you click ok in this way ok next Here we go. Our requirement right click new report or add new item, either of them. For now, reports add new item. Report add new item. Select report. And for example, I'll take it as sales report. Okay, like this. I'll say basic sales report, something like this. So right click reports, add new item, click add like this. So once you click on add, you get one empty RDL file what is this rdl file back to our notes report definition language the extension of the default paginated reports so here we go ssdt file new project template to specify a name to the report project browse for the location to store the project click ok then one empty report is auto created what here it is 
So here it is. I'll just put this way. From Solution Explorer, right click Add New Item. So this results in one empty report called RDL Report Definition Language File. Once you get this RDL file from left side Report Data View Menu, this one right click Data Source, Add Data Source, this one. Report data, right click data sources, add data source. Left side you see report data like this. If you don't see the report data, then here go to view, there you see report data, down you see report data. You need to click anywhere on this middle white box, go to view, then report data. Okay, this way. Next, right click add data source. Right click add data source. Next, you get one data source name, leave it as it is. Type SQL Server and click on Build. SQL Server and click on Build. Once you click on Build, we need to specify the server name. From our Management Studio tool, you connect to the server earlier, right? We installed the database, we tested the query. That particular server you copy and paste. Then you may test the connection. Right now, using Windows authentication and provide the database name. This is the database we installed recently, few moments back. Once again, test the connection to make sure. We do not have any connection problems. Go to credentials and come out of the first option, click back first option. Just reset it. Just reset this way so that we are forcing the connection to go for Windows authentication. For now, dev environment. Once we get this report to production, later classes at the time we will see how to get the report prompt for credentials and other options like azure cloud username password we are going to practice them anyway for now windows authentication and click ok this way so your data source ready right click Add data set. This one right click add data set. Data set means it refers to the query. Which query in this data source, in this server and database, whatever query we tested previously from SSMS, that particular query you copy, that particular query you copy and paste it so remember data set refers to the query so our fields would be ready fields mean the query resulting columns year quarter month day product and sum of sales these are ready click ok so you have data source ready and data set ready what next here it is. Once we have the data source and data set ready, then our next step, then our next step, we need to design the actual report. How? Let's see. An interesting and simple item. Data source, data set, fields. Back to our notes. Data source, connection data set query and report fields columns we'll talk about other things in our next chapters to come
for now let's go for one two three so report ready and data source ready data set ready once we get these things ready then left side toolbox and drag and drop table if you don't see the toolbox go to view menu and then select toolbox from left side toolbox item drag and drop table to the report designer window left side toolbox we don't see toolbox so go to view click anywhere in this middle white space then go to view you see toolbox this one go to view click on toolbox then we get one toolbox like this now what we do drag and drop table this one just drag and drop table like this we get a table with header row and data row two rows header row data row back to the screen now what we do once we get this header row and data row from left side report data drag and drop each column into second row of the table here it is i'll write a small line here we get we get one empty report with two rows what are they header row and also data or details row from report data what we do drag and drop each column drag and drop each column into second row of the table this one here we go drag and drop drag and drop this one here to second row drag and drop here to second row carefully drag and release your mouse to the second row quarter same way month same way day like this sorry this one day just select day like this drag and drop product here you see the vertical line you may add in between or at the end like this you got the vertical line carefully release your mouse at the end so this way you get year quarter month and so on all the fields from the data set then next step how to set background and font colors including dynamic colors let's see these three items background color foreground color or font color and dynamic background color let's see for this purpose select first row select first row and maybe you can click on bold and go to background color like this click on background color for example i'll take this background color click ok or click on foreground color for example yellow in this way click ok same way the next one select the complete second row detail row you may click on background color fx background color fx you would like to have a dynamic row color there is one category called common functions miscellaneous functions row number so what we do is i i f just like sql wherein we have i f function 
that accepts three parameters condition true block and false block same thing here if and only if row number of nothing means current row modulus operator 2 divided by 2 if the remainder is 0 means it is even color so even row one color if not odd row another color like this row number nothing modulus operator to zero so here it is one color or even numbers odd numbers another color like this then click ok here it is just click ok so even numbers one color odd numbers other color like this click ok in this way I will repeat once again, observe carefully. Our requirement, our requirement, go to expression, you can go to background and expression effects, but unfortunately you see empty expression here, we don't see the previous one. To get access to the previous expression, Go to properties, go to properties, select the required row like this and background color, this one, this is the expression we are talking about. If and only if, see there, if and only if, row number nothing means it actually stands for current row. If it is zero, then one color, if not other color, click OK like this. Now click on preview. So here is the report. This is how it looks. So year wise, quarter wise, month wise, day, product and sales like this in this way. Okay, next. With this information, so what we are learning now? Yes, we are understanding how to get static or constant color backend, say backdrop color at the header, dynamic colors for the details. Go back to design. Next one, how to work with date and time and currency formats let's see let's work with date and time and currency formats here you go date and time format right click particular day text box properties right click day text box properties like this once you go to text box properties, then next step, number, give number, then next, date column, number and date column, give the required value, for example, here it is type, date column like this. Click OK. Give the format, whichever format you wanted. Click OK. Same way, monetary or financial data. Right click text box properties. Text box properties. Then go to number currency. See here, go to number currency. Then decimal values. Optionally, we can show zero as iPhone values in thousands, optional and comma separator symbols like dollars, euros, rupees, etc. We can give the required uh, symbolic representation for your data. Then, for your currency values, click OK. So, remember number, currency, 
formats okay come on verify click on preview just click on preview and you get the values here this way year quarter month day product and sales like this go back to the design go back to the design here next item yes our requirement here our next step we did the uh, color codings and the format back to our notes we can adjust the column width and column names add a report title execution time and image let's observe carefully item number 11 to 14 column width report title execution time image let's see first column width we can control the column width here and also the column name like this something like this and further we can click anywhere on this table and again click on top left corner click anywhere on the table click top left corner you get one handler drag the handler down like this drag the handler down then our next step go to toolbox drag and drop text box like this go to toolbox drag and drop text box right click then expression right click text box expression there are predefined fields execution time page numbers total pages username page name etc for now we use this execution time click ok just double click on execution time ok and set some background color like this and a foreground color as well something like this and bold it increase the font a bit what we are doing now right click expression simply equal to globals built-in fields means globals and the execution time same way we can also include an image drag and drop image to the right side here it is import image and by default it is jpeg select all files i'll include one sample image in the class notes you may use any image of your choice click open and then click ok so this is your image okay something like this the execution time i'll include it over here in this way automatically you see the adjustment of the white box the report body left side what we do once again i'll drag and drop text box right click expression right click expression built in fields and report name double click report name like this click ok and i'll include some font size here and bold it and some yellow or any other size any other font property of your choice 
so this is your text two text boxes one image we may click on the preview as usual then we see the report time and the image for time i'll just reduce the font size go back to the design part then next something like this go back to design put this way okay next with this information with this information next step okay so here we go back to our notes two important things how to add page header and page footer this header and footer will be repeated in every page the header and footer will be repeated in every page let's see how to do them header and footer okay so here we go for header and footer what we do click anywhere outside the report body click anywhere outside the report body click page header this one click anywhere outside the report body page header then simply select these items and drag them to the top click anywhere on the report table table toolbox item then handle get a hold of this handler and position it carefully next you may also add a line or here you may also add a line like this for line line color you can give some line color of your choice like this and line width for example i like to make it four points like this the content inside the header will be repeated in every page okay something like this then we have other one called footer here it is click anywhere outside the body of the report add page footer this one right click add page footer you get a page footer now what we do here simple adjust the height text box just drag and drop some text box like this align it carefully right click expression right click expression here i will say page we need to use ampersand for appending the data we use ampersand page say for example current page number page 1 of something like this 10 total pages page 1 of 10 2 of 10 3 of 10 so on click ok page 1 of 10 2 of 10 so on click ok like this in this way italic and supply the values here this way click on preview click on preview so you get report image the header the header will be repeated on every page see there the until the blue lines repeated on every page until the last page this is called paginated report now one small missing item here preparing for our next examples you see the table header that dark red color 
backdrop column row only on the first page if you go to second page we don't see that option it's missing yes in our next examples we'll understand how to repeat table header on every page right now it is a report header repeated on every page right now it is report header table header next classes next examples and we can also verify the page numbers page 2 of 113 same way scroll down you will see page 3 of 113 so on it continues like this until the end so this way you will practice the basic report design activities so that total of 16 items so that we are ready for our next examples like grouping subgroups etc that comes up next practice the items carefully on time and use me for your doubts and clarifications please practice on time thank you very much have a nice time thank you once again